Hey guys, good morning and welcome back again to your Academy Need English channel. I hope all of you are doing great, having a good time. So my dear students, as you all must be knowing, yesterday there was the NEET examination again conducted for uh, almost 1,563 students, right? So let's exactly have a look what was the level of the paper, what kind of the questions were asked in the yesterday's re-NEET examination so that you get the insights of the level of the examination basically, right? My dear students, when I analyze the paper, which I'm going to show you now, I'll show you now in some time like what exactly were the questions. But before that, if you see the analysis of the yesterday's NEET 2024 re-exam, which happened to our selected students basically, right? When I analyze the chemistry section particularly, in physical chemistry, this time 40% paper was there, right? So out of your complete chemistry section, 40% questions were there from physical chemistry, 30% questions were there from organic chemistry, and similarly, 30% of the questions were there from the inorganic chemistry as well. And if you exactly see from which chapter, like how many questions were asked, so have a look exactly. From the mole concept, two questions were asked. Atomic structure, three questions. Thermodynamics and thermochemistry, three questions. Equilibrium, three questions. Redox and electro combinedly. Three questions, solution, three questions, kinetics, three. Similarly, GOC, hydrocarbon, haloalkanes, arenes, alcohols, phenols, ethers, aldehydes, ketones, carboxylic acids, amines, biomolecules, practical organic chemistry, periodic table, chemical bonding, P block, D and F coordination, salt analysis, right? And I have exactly mentioned the number of questions which were asked from each of these chapters, right? Now, guys, if you exactly see the level of the paper, I would say if you ask me, uh, whether this re-NEET examination was difficult than the NEET examination which happened on 5th of May, I would say, I would say the paper was bit lengthy, right? What, whatever paper you saw exactly on 5th of May, right? The paper which you saw on 5th of May and the paper which you saw exactly on 23rd of June. What is the difference in the level? The level is almost same, but, 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 but if I talk about the chemistry section in chemistry section, the calculations were there basically. More questions were there in physical chemistry, right? Therefore, students would have taken time to solve those questions for sure, right? But if you ask me the level, the level will, was almost the same. I would say this particular examination, its level was almost the same means it was 5%, I would say, more than that of this particular examination, right? The level of yesterday's examination was almost 5% more than that of uh, the 5th May examination. Perfect. Because more questions, first of all, more questions were asked from the physical chemistry part in which calculations were involved, right? So students would have taken time, right? They would have utilized time to solve those questions with the help of due to which there would have been issues. There maybe would have been issues uh, on time management, basically. Let's have a look. What kind of questions were first of all asked from physical chemistry? Let's see one by one so that you get the insights of the things. In this particular slide, if you see question number 52, right? This is the question which is from the chapter chemical kinetics. I hope this is visible to you, right? And in this particular chapter, you are supposed to calculate order of the reaction with respect to A and B. There are three experiments which are given. And I believe all of you would remember how do we solve these sort of questions, okay? A simple question this is, even without solving, without doing the calculation also, you can solve this particular question. And I believe those students who would have studied chemical kinetics at least once, they would have solved this question easily, right? Look at this particular question, guys. I'm showing you the easy kill questions, which does not need any calculation, right? Which of the following molecules has non-zero dipole moment? Non-zero. Options were CCL4, HI, carbon dioxide, BF3. So again, one basic question this is. In this particular slide, if you see uh, the question based on conversion, right? Match list one with list two, like, right? I mean, these are very basic, basic questions, which you can see over here. For example, which of the following pair of ions will have same spin magnetic moment? So ions are given, their magnetic moments are to be calculated. Root of n into n plus 2. This is the question which is from the chapter equilibrium, right? Two reactions, right? You have to check the relation between their equilibrium constants. The question based on characteristics of equilibrium constant, right? A simple question again. Identify the incorrect statement. PCL5. Molecule is PCL5. And for PCL5, you have to check the incorrect. PCL5 possesses two different CL-PCL bond angles. All the five PCL bonds are identical. PCL5 exhibits sp3 hybridization. PCL5 consists 
uh, five PCL sigma bonds, right? Again, a simple basic equation from your SP3D part, which involves your PCL5. Similarly, if you look at this particular equation, this is the equation from the chapter thermodynamics, right? And I believe anyone who would have studied, I mean, thermodynamics at least once, they would have solved this easily. Choose the correct uh, statement for the work done in the expansion and heat absorbed or released when 5 liters of an ideal gas at 10 atmospheric pressure isothermally, isothermally expands in vacuum. So this expansion in vacuum, right? So it's free expansion. So it's free expansion. You have to check the statement. See guys, it's again a simple question. For example, if you ask me, how do you solve this? Since, temp uh, since uh, the expansion is happening in vacuum, so it's the case of free expansion. In case of free expansion, W is zero. Temperature constant, that means delta U for the ideal gas will be zero, right? If you use the first law, delta U is nothing. Delta U is equal to Q plus W, right? W is zero. Uh, w is zero. Delta U is zero. That is telling you Q is also zero, right? So accordingly, you are supposed to check the options. Perfect. All the things W, delta U, Q, those are equal to zero. And this sort of equation, it has been asked many a times, right? Last, last year also, the question was asked on the free expansion two. And this year also, the question has been asked from free expansion two, right? And a basic question. It's not difficult or something. Similarly, if you talk about PCL5, you know, in case of PCL5, uh, the geometry is trigonal bipyramidal. And you know, actual bond lengths, they are more than that of the equatorial bond lengths. I hope you know that. That is the question, right? Which is basically given to us. They are mentioning all the five PCL bonds are identical in length, which is not the case in case of PCL5. Similarly, let's have a look on other questions. IUPAC name, a basic question, right? You have to check the IUPAC name of this. Which of the following set of ions oxidizing agents from D and F block elements, right? You get this particular equation frequently. Similarly, conversion again, uh, ethylene, ethylene diamine tetraacetate, right? EDTA, it is which ligand? Hexadentate, ambidentate. I mean the basic question. The amount of glucose required to prepare 250 ml of 1 by 20 molar solution. So mass of glucose you have to calculate, molarity is given. So again one basic simple question only. Uh, identify the incorrect statement from the following, right? Uh, there are few statements which are given, you have to select the incorrect one. For example, you are given with the acids, HF, HCl, HBr, HI. You have to check their acidic strengths, right? You know, HI is more acidic, right, than all, right? HI will be more acidic than all. So it will be the first question only, first option only which will be incorrect. Similarly, the question from the equilibrium, lee chatler principle. Haber's process given, Haber's process given, reaction is favored in the forward direction by, by applying what? The question based from leach aglia principle. How come you can make sure the equilibrium shifts for in the forward direction? Some options are given, again basic, simple. Again one conversion and basic conversion this is. Similarly, if you look at the other option, the, uh, which of the following is not ambidentate? So one more question from the coordination and basic simple question. Uh, there are set of quantum numbers which are given. You have to arrange them on the basis of their decreasing energy, right? And you know how to do it, N plus L rule. Perfect. N plus L rule you'll be using. Similarly, the compound that does not undergo friedel crafts alkylation, right? But gives a positive carbolimin test. Again, a simple question only. For an endothermic reaction, QP is negative, delta HR is positive, delta HR is negative, QP is positive, right? See, this is again a simple question. And see, these are the questions which do not need any sort of calculation. You know, heat absorbed or released at constant pressure is nothing but delta H, right? That is delta H. And in case of endothermic reaction, in case of endothermic reaction, this is positive. All of them, QP as well as delta H, both are positive. So you have to check which one is the correct answer. So QP as well as delta H, both are positive. So it's going to be option B and D, right? Similarly, one gram of H2 has same number of molecules as that. These are few options which are given. You have to check one gram of H2 has same number of molecules as in what? So again, this is was this was a basic question only. I think this was the repeated question, ln K versus 1 by T. Right, ln K versus 1 by T graph. It was a repeated question, and the same graph was asked in your fifth May examination as well. Similarly, a question based on the distillation oxidation number. Oxidation, oxidation number shown by manganese in the following reactions. <coughs> a reaction is given in the reactant side, you have got MnO4 di negative, where an oxidation state of manganese will be uh, plus 6. Here it's going to be MnO4 negative plus 7. MnO2 plus 4, right? So you have to choose the most appropriate answer from the options given. So the oxidation states not shown by manganese. There are few oxidation states which are given for manganese and you were supposed to check which of the following oxidation state is not shown by manganese in the following reaction. Again, a simple and basic question only this was.
Similarly, if you look at the other questions, a question based from the Balmer series, right? Simple question only. And similarly, guys, again, the convergence question from chemical bonding part, right? Match the following. A question based on bond strength, is it? Uh, let me check it first. Yes, bond enthalpy. So the question based on bond order, basically, more the bond order, more the bond strength, more the bond enthalpy. Uh, the standard cell potential of the cell is given. Calculate the standard Gibbs free energy change. So delta G naught, you are supposed to calculate minus NF A naught cell. N value for the reaction will be 2. F will be 96500, right? And A naught value is given as 0 0.32. Perfect. Multiply them, divide by 1000, you get the answer in kilojoules. Again, simple basic question only, right? Similarly, guys, okay, this question would have taken a bit of time. The ratio of solubility of AgCl in 0 0.1 molar KCl solution to the solubility of AgCl in water. Question, simple question only, conceptual one, but a good one, right? Okay, simple conceptual only, but a good one as far as the need standard is concerned. Similarly, if you look at this question, it is from the chapter mole concept. On complete combustion, 0 0.3 grams of organic compound gives 0 0.2 grams carbon dioxide and 0 0.1 gram water. The percentage composition of carbon and hydrogen in the compound respectively is. Again, the basic question based on the combustion. So guys, this was your paper, right? I think there are more questions. Just a second, let me check further. Again, the question based on reaction part. Again, the question based on the reaction part. For the following reaction, reaction is given, enthalpy change is given, internal energy change needs to be calculated, you know, delta H is equal to delta U plus delta NGRT, right? That equation was to be used. This of this question was repeated in the 5th May also, right? Rate constants at two different temperatures were given. You are supposed to calculate the activation energy. Simple formula based question this is. Similarly, mass of glucose required to dissolve to prepare 1 liter of solution, which is, I think it will be isotonic, with uh, 15 grams per liter solution of urea. Again, question based from the solution. Okay, simple question only, but this might take a bit of time for the calculation purpose, right? Uh, from the coordination chemistry part, methyl group attached to a positively charged carbon atom stabilized the carbocation due to, you know, right? Due to hyperconjugation, most appropriate. Perfect. So this was your chemistry section, which was asked in the yesterday's examination. So if you ask me about the level, I hope you saw exactly what kind of questions were asked yesterday. If you ask me the level, the level is almost the same or I would say this paper, it contains the level almost like 5% more than that of 5th May examination because of a bit of calculations involved, right? Rest, the level was almost the same, right? The difficulty level, which was there in the 5th May part, almost similar difficulty has been kept in this particular paper as well, right? So, so guys, from this particular paper, one thing is, I mean, that has to be taken in the mind. In this particular section from the physical chemistry part, 40% questions have been asked. So they have increased the level a bit by increasing the level of the physical chemistry questions, right? I mean, the calculation part was involved more in four, or in four to five questions of the physical chemistry. Rest, everything was same. Perfect. I hope you got the insights of like what kind of question paper was asked. Similarly, you can check your bio as well, right? I hope you can see. I hope you can see I'm changing the slides. You can pause the video if you want to see exactly the statements which were asked in your bio anyways i'm going to share this pdf on my telegram as well you can check it out uh, on the telegram okay it is wasim but official w a s s i m b h a t dash official is the telegram channel name i'll share this pdf in the telegram as well so that you get the idea of what kind of question paper was asked in the yesterday's examination okay perfect and at the same time for all the need 2025 aspirants my dear students we are going to start the Phoenix 3.0 NEET English batch. Uh, that is like a one year complete course for the NEET 2025 students, wherein we are going to complete the whole syllabus in six months, followed by two months of revision. O on every Sunday, we keep the tests, right? Study material, everything, DPPs are included, no need to follow any book. And we are the Unacademy NEET English team. We are going to train you particularly in that particular batch, right? That batch is starting on 1st of July. So the ones who have not enrolled into the batch yet, I would highly recommend all of you to join into that batch. Let's not for, wait further more. Let's start the preparation directly, right, from the beginning itself. Okay, because in that particular batch, I would say the best, the best educators across the country are going to train you, the ones who have produced the single digit double digit ranks in their careers. And that batch is enough to cross the 700 marks for sure. Perfect, no need to follow any book. Perfect, because every single chapter will be started from the basics. First of all, we'll cover all the theory, then all the problem patterns which are there in the chapter. Everything will be done in the live class itself, in physics, in chemistry, as well as in biology, right? Whatever chapters we complete in a week, 
and on every Sundays you'll write the test. So minimum 50 plus tests you'll be writing in this Phoenix 3.0 batch, right? As I keep on telling you all the time, no need to go for any books, study material, whatever books, whatever T DPPs we are going to provide you in the batch. That is more than sufficient. That contains each and everything. Perfect. You are just supposed to follow that study material. Nothing more than that. Okay. And definitely one-on-one -on -one mentorship with me. As you would have seen for the Phoenix 2.0, I keep on conducting the mentorship sessions every week. Similarly, that's going to happen with the Phoenix 3.0 students as well. So let me quickly show you how do we get enrolled into the batch. See, the, the video which you are watching right now, there's a link in the description box of the video. Click on the link. Once you click on the link, you have got two options, either to go for plus subscription or the iconic subscription, right? What is the difference between the two? In the plus, you get study material in the form of DPPs. In the iconic, you get study material in the form of booklets and those booklets will be delivered to your houses, right? So here you have to click on 12 months. Okay, then click on proceed to pay. Once you click on proceed to pay, you just have to put your number on which you will be getting the OTP or you can continue with your email ID and eventually this particular batch you are just getting at the rate of 5499 and after a few days the uh, the price of this particular batch is going to raise and the same batch you'll be getting exactly at 8000 after a few days. So the ones who have made their mind of writing the need examination in 2025 I would say Phoenix 3.0 is going to be the best choice for all of you guys right and if you get this subscription you'll be having the access to all the batches of Unacademy absolutely free of course, be it the Hindi batch, be it the English batch, be it the English batch, right? Anything. Perfect. So let's get up. Let's start the preparation as soon as possible now. Perfect. So get enrolled as soon as possible so that, so that we can score 700 plus when it comes to the NEET 2025 examination because all the parameters which are required, right? To score more than 700, right? That those, all those parameters are basically included in this particular batch guys, right? So with this I'll be taking a leave. I hope you got the insights of what was the paper, what was the level of the paper and subscribe, I mean join the telegram group wherein I'll be sharing this particular paper with all of you. So take care, God bless you all and love you all guys. Bye-bye.